So you'd have like five people sitting at a bench and one person doing all the work and the rest just watching. And we decided that was a bad experience. So we said, uh, let's flip this class. Uh, and rather than a textbook, the students would buy a kit. So we said, you know what, let's just make our own. I'm with uh, Enscope. It's a breadboardable USB uh, oscilloscope, power supply, and function generator. It looks like this. Um, it's a tool that we give to students so that they can learn how to build uh, a circuit and then debug it, because usually the first time you build it, it doesn't work, so you need to be able to see why it's not working and try to fix it. Exactly. Could you tell me a little bit more about the exact functionality here? You say power supply, analog out, analog in? Right. So we get uh, plus and minus 5 volts up to 200 milliamps, so that's enough to uh, power op amps and LEDs, but not quite enough to power a motor. Um, it monitors the power, so if you short it, it will turn itself off and save your computer, so that's always nice. Uh, we have four analog inputs, so you can see four different uh, channels simultaneously. We have two analog out and two PWM out, and then you could use those to be inputs to your circuit and then see what your circuit does to them and feed them back in again. Excellent. Now this is interfaced with a computer. Uh, would you mind demonstrating the sure. program? Yeah. So um, just got a, a laptop here. It runs in Windows, Linux, and a Mac. Uh, we get power over USB. Um, and then we use the screen for data. So on this board, I've got a couple of circuits. Uh, one is a temperature sensor, and that's the yellow line. So if I warm up one of the components, the uh, yellow line goes up to show that the voltage is increased. And if I touch the other component, it comes back down. And it's nice and noisy um, because the, uh, the sensor has a gain of uh, about 100. So the little bit of noise got amplified as well as the signal. Um, and so when you start to build circuits like this, you you start to get familiar with, oh, you know, the signal's too small. That's why I build the, the circuit to amplify. And now there's noise, so I should probably build a filter. Uh, and you get a very kind of hands-on, intuitive feeling for why we build circuits and, and how we debug them. Excellent. And is that a sine wave I see down there? Is that one of the outputs? Yeah, so that's one of the outputs. Um, you know, we can set it to be uh, bipolar, meaning positive and negative, or unipolar, all positive. We can change uh, the frequency and the amplitude. Um, and that might be something you feed into a speaker. Um, or you feed into a motor and make the motor move in that way. And so what was the inspiration? Why did you do this project in the first place? Yeah, so I was a graduate student in mechanical engineering, and we have a class for uh, mechanical engineers learning how to build electronics. And it's usually around 100 students every year. Uh, and the lab uh, had eight benches. So you'd have like five people sitting at a bench and one person doing all the work, and the rest just watching. And we decided that was a bad experience, so we said, uh, let's flip this class. At the time, it was very popular to flip classes. Uh, and rather than a textbook, the students would buy a kit, and they would uh, get to watch videos online to learn how to build. And then they'd use their kit at home and in class to, to do the learning. Um, and we were buying kits from other suppliers and mixing and matching, and nothing was working the way we wanted it to. So we said, you know what, let's just make our own. And for five years, I designed a board, and we used it for a year, and then I fixed it, and we used it again. And, and after five years, um, we said, you know what, the hardware's done. And some other schools had contacted us saying, like, hey, we heard that you're doing this thing. Can we buy it? And that's your sign to, like, hey, let's, let's try a company. So we put it on Kickstarter and had a lot of success in Kickstarter. We shipped uh, 2,300 units over three months. Um, and then that seed money has allowed us to start a company. So we sell these on Amazon. And, it's been a really like fun experience to see that kind of like startup culture and um, get it into the hands of like kids for education. And there's not much stress on us because we still have our full-time jobs, but uh, we're learning a lot about how to run a business and how to do hardware and how to support people with software. So it's it's been a lot of fun.